Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's session, I'm going to talk about John Lilly. Uh, before getting into the session, kindly subscribe my YouTube channel to get the further updates about the upcoming lectures. Yes, uh, John Lilly uh, was born in England. Of course, uh, his birth year was uncertain, whether it's 1553 or 1554. And uh, he lived up to 1606. Okay? Uh, he was born as the eldest son of Peter Lilly and... Uh, Jen Berg, B U R J H, and of course uh, he was uh, a writer, a dramatist, courtier, parliamentarian. He was uh, well known during his uh, lifetime uh, for his two books, uh, which is uh, You First, E U P H U E S, E F U S, The Anatomy of Wit. This one came in the year 1578, and uh, its sequel, E First, and is England. Okay. Uh, it's equal, okay? The the previous book, Euphorus, the Anatomy of Wit. It's equal was came in the year 1580. That one, Euphorus and his England. He was best remembered now. Uh, Lily's uh, distinctive and uh, much imitated literary style, okay, which named after the title character of two books, which is uh, as uh, Euphorism. E U P H U I. SM, Euphorism. Lily was uh, educated at uh, King's School, Canterbury. There, his brothers were recorded as uh, the contemporaries of uh, Christopher Marlowe. Okay? See, when his father died okay, at his age of 15, when you know Lily was uh, 15 years old, his father was you know, passed away. In his will, uh, his father made uh, Lily and uh, his mother, okay, Lily's mother, as his joint executor okay and named as my dwelling house d w e l l i n g my dwelling house call the splayed eagle s p l a y e d call the splayed eagle so the house was uh, closed by the canterbury cathedral on either sun street or uh, palace street so this one was sold uh, around you know 14 months later in the year uh, 1571 at his age of 16 uh, john lilly became the student of uh, Oxford university there he was you know he recorded as having received his bachelor's degree in the year 1573 his masters uh, two years later uh, in the year 1575 john lilly mentioned in his address uh, like uh, to my very good friends the gentleman scholars of export okay which he has mentioned at the end of the second edition of his anatomy of wit okay there you know he complains about uh, a sentence of uh, r u s t i c a t i o in restication okay apparently paused on him uh, at some time during his university career okay but uh, nothing more is known about uh, either its uh, date or its cause According to Anthony Wood, uh, while uh, Lily had the reputation of uh, a noted wit, he never took kindly uh, to the proper studies of the university. John Lily wrote to William Cecil, uh, Lord Burghley, uh, when he was in Oxford University uh, in the year 1574, uh, in order to seek his assistance uh, in applying for uh, the Queen's letters to admit him as a fellow at uh, uh, Magdalen College. Uh, but uh, the fellowship was not granted for him. Later uh, letters to Burghley uh, shows that uh, their connection continued after he left university. Uh, this nobleman, okay, Lily writes in the uh, Glasses for Europe, okay, in the second part of Euphorus, uh, uh, okay, that one came in the year 1580. Uh, I found so ready being but uh, a stranger uh, to do m me good uh, that uh, neither I ought to forget him, uh, neither is he to pray for him, that uh, as he had the wisdom of uh, uh, Nestor, so... Uh, he may have uh, the age uh, that having the policies of Ulysses, he may have his uh, honor, worthy to live uh, long, uh, by whom so many live in quiet, and not unworthy to be uh, advanced by whose care uh, so many have been preferred. So this was mentioned uh, in the uh, second part of uh, Euphorus. Lily started his literary career uh, with the uh, books uh, uh, Euphorus, 
or uh, the anatomy of wit okay and it was licensed to uh, gabriel kewood c a w o o d kewood okay in the year 1578 of course uh, uh, the same year it was printed uh, uh, dedication to william west uh, the first baron de lawar b a r o n d e l w a r r and uh, a second expanded edition immediately followed in the next year i mean the 1579 uh, in the same year uh, lily was incorporated in ma at the K university of cambridge uh, the anatomy of wit was an instant success and lily quickly followed it uh, with the sequel yefers uh, and is england okay and uh, licensed to kewood uh, and uh, published in the year 1580 Uh, like the first uh, it won immediate popularity between them uh, the two works went through over 30 editions by 1630 as uh, lee strag l e a h s c r a g g lee strag uh, their most editor uh, describes them uh, they would prove the literary sensation of the age for the first time uh, lily was most successful and fashionable of english writers uh, hailed as the author of uh, new english as a uh, raffinier d langlor r a f f i n e u r raffinier d d e l apostrophe a n g l o i s raffinier d langlor and uh, as uh, edward blount b l o u n t one of the publishers of his plays uh, wrote in uh, 1632 uh, that uh, beauty in court which could not parley euphemism was uh, a little regarded as uh, she now they speaks not french lily's prose style was uh, much imitated for example by uh, barnab rich b a r n a b e barnab rich in his second uh, tome of travels and adventures of don simonides s i m o n i d e s simonides in the year 1584 by robert green in his uh, manaphone camillo's uh, alarum to slumbering euphues c a m i l l e apostrophe s camillo's alarum a l e r u m alarum to slumbering s l u m b e r i n g slumbering e fours okay this one came in the year 1589 by uh, thomas lodge in his uh, rosalind uh, euphues golden legacy l e g a c i legacy in the year 1590 john lily dedicated his second euphues novel to edward d vere edward e d w a r d d e v e r e edward d vere Uh, who is you know the 17th earl of axford uh, who seems to have acted as a patron to a uh, most of lily's literary associates when lily left axford for london and it's about this time that lily became his private secretary d ware was uh, burgley's son-in-law and uh, two years later a letter from lily to burgley dated 1582 a protest against an accusation of uh, dishonesty which had brought him to a uh, trouble with the earl and uh, request a personal interview uh, in order to clear his name in the same year he contributed an introductory epistle john lily to other his friend uh, to thomas waston's collection of poems hecatom fatia h e k a t o m p a t h i a hecatom fatia or a fashionate century of love this one also published by kewood and uh, which uh, watson also dedicated to d ware in the year of 1589 uh, lily published uh, a tract in the uh, martin marplate m a r t i n m a r p r e l a t e martin marplate uh, a controversy okay which called uh, uh, pape with the uh, hatchet p a p p e with an hatchet pape with an hatchet allies a uh, uh, fig for my uh, god's own f i g g e for my god's own g o r s o n n e or uh, uh, crack me this nut 
or uh, country coffee c u f f e uh, okay though it was uh, published anonymously the evidence for his authorships of uh, the tract may be found in gabriel harvey's appears uh, super erogation lily was uh, you know seated as an mp in queen elizabeth's uh, last four parliaments for uh, hindon in uh, Will try Shakespeare's company famously uh, performed their comedy of errors uh, in the year fifteen ninety seven. Lily contributed uh, commentary verses in Latin to Henry Log's verse translation of uh, the Book of uh, Ecclesiastes. E C C L E S I A S T E S Ecclesiastes, uh, which uh, Log dedicated to the Queen. In addition to this play, Lily composed. Uh, at least uh, one entertainment okay uh, performed for queen elizabeth during her various progress throughout the uh, country the entertainment at uh, chiswick was uh, staged in the year uh, 1602 uh, at the house of sir william russell uh, lily has been suggested as the author of several other uh, royal entertainments of uh, uh, the year 1590s uh, most notably the entertainment at uh, Mitcham performed uh, in the year 1598 uh, at the house of Sir uh, Julius Caesar. Uh, two petitions by uh, John Lilly to Queen Elizabeth uh, show that uh, he, he entered uh, service at some time uh, in the year 1580 uh, with the hope of becoming her masters of reveal, uh, hopes that uh, eventually ended in disappointment. The first petition he says that, I was entertained your majestic's uh, servant by your own gracious favor strengthened with the conditions that i should aim all my courses at rivers dare not say with the promise but with a hopeful item to the uh, reversion for which these ten years i have attended with an unwearied patience In the second petition okay with that was dated 16-1 lily complains uh, like uh, 13 years your highness servant but yet nothing 20 friends that though they will be sure i find them sure to be slow a thousand hopes but all nothing a hundred promises but yet nothing thus casting up the inventory of my friends hopes promises and times the summer totally amounteth to just nothing the uh, original of uh, the two petitions you know are uh, not survive uh, they don't survive uh, but uh, whatever their success with elizabeth after lily's death and uh, pair enjoyed the most extensive circulations in manuscript of any elizabethan jacobian dramatist around 46 copies of uh, the two letters uh, in post 1620 uh, manuscript miscellaneous anthologies of uh, state correspondence and uh, letter manuals uh, can currently be you know recorded okay they which were you know recorded uh, a third now you know a lost petition is mentioned in a letter to sir robert cecil uh, elizabeth's uh, principal secretary uh, that was dated uh, uh, 162 uh, where you know uh, lily says uh, lily tells him like um, my wife delivered my petition to the queen who accepted it graciously and as i desired referred it to mr greville the copy i have sent enclosed not to trouble your honor only to what safe a view of the particulars all woven in one is but to have something okay of course uh, as a result okay uh, of this third petition uh, is unknown uh, at the elizabeth's death uh, a year later in the year 1603 uh, lily was granted seven yards of uh, black cloth for her funeral and uh, his uh, servants uh, four yards lily uh, uh, died uh, un for the unknown causes in the year 1606 uh, in the early part of uh, reign of james the first and uh, was buried uh, uh, in the uh, church of uh, saint uh, uh, bartholomew of the less in london uh, of course uh, beatrice brown of uh, yorkshire uh, okay, whom he got married 
okay they they had uh, at least four sons uh, five daughters the the you know most popular proverb was uh, all is fair in love and war okay, which has been attributed to lilies yefers of course uh, yefers was said to be uh, lilies most popular and of course influential work in the elizabethan period uh, it is a uh, place which uh, Uh, which are now admired for their uh, flexible use of dramatic prose and the elegant patterning of their construction when uh, describing the playwrights of his day uh, in his uh, uh, palladies tamia or a wits treasury uh, okay that was printed in the year 1598 uh, and uh, francis mears okay placed uh, eloquent and uh, witty john lilly in as a list of uh, the best for comedy uh, among as uh, alongside uh, shakespeare ben johnson in his poem uh, to the memory of my beloved uh, author mr william shakespeare uh, printed in the year 1623 uh, first folio where uh, he praised him by listening lily as one of the best playwrights whom he surpassed how far thou didst our lily outshine or sporting kid or mallow's mighty line uh, shakespeare's comedy lost labors lost a midsummer night's dream much ado about nothing as you like it and twelfth night all or you know or all seem to have drawn influence from lily's work In the year of 1632 the same year he published the second folio of shakespeare's play edward blount also published a six court comedies uh, the first printed collection of uh, lily's plays uh, informing his uh, readers that uh, i have uh, digged up the grave of a rare and excellent poet whom green elizabeth then heard graced and rewarded ye yes, sin it bad to suffer these uh, rare monuments of wit to lie covered in dust and a shame such that uh, conceited comedies should be acted by none but worms oblivion shall not so trample on son of muses and such a son as they call their darling born dedicated the volume of uh, richard first uh, viscount lumley of uh, waterford writing like um, it can be no dishonor to listen to the poet's music whose tunes lighted in the ears of a great and ever famous queen his invention was so curiously strong that elizer scott held his notes in admiration for this poet sat at the sun's tables apollo gave him a wreath of his own base without snatching the lyre he played on had no borrowed strings the greatest treasure of our poet left behind him are these six in gods of refined invention rich than gold where the diamonds they are now yours okay now uh, uh, let's see some you know uh, comedy plays by uh, john lilly uh, the first one is uh, okay uh, Endymion Endymion was uh, uh, came in the year 1591 okay Endymion the man in the moon okay Endymion the man in the moon uh, it's a, a comedy play in the elizabethan age uh, the, the the action of the play which centers around uh, uh, the uh, young courtier Endymion who is sent into uh, an endless slumber by Tellus who is his former love Uh, because he has uh, spawned her to worship the ageless queen Cynthia okay and it was characterized by euphuism uh, lily's highly ornate was a formalized style okay uh, meant to convey the intelligence and wit of the speaker endymion has been called without doubt the boldest in conception and uh, most beautiful in execution of all lily's plays Lily makes allusions uh, to ancient Greek and Roman text and traditional English folklore uh, through the play while uh, the little and characters are uh, references to 
the myth of Endymion, the plot sharply deviates from the classical story and uh, highlights contemporary issues in Elizabeth I's court through its uh, allegorical framework. But the next comedy play is uh, Campas to C A N P A S P Campas. Okay, this is uh, okay. Kind of a, this one, you know, uh, popularly considered uh, as uh, Lily's uh, earliest drama. Campas was an influence and uh, precedent for much that followed in uh, English Renaissance drama. Uh, this has been uh, performed at uh, a court before uh, Queen Elizabeth I. Uh, around the year 1584 and it was also acted at the first Blackfriars Theatre. The uh, company which performed the play is uh, open to Queen uh, Extant uh, Records assigned the court to performance to Axford Boys and uh, the uh, Blackfriars production to the Children's of Pals, uh, Lily Regular Company and uh, the Children of the Chapel. Uh, one resolution for the conflicting assignments uh, is the theory that uh, the play was acted by a combination of uh, personnel from the Pauls and Chapel companies as well as from the troupe of uh, boy actors uh, maintained in the year 1580 by Earl of Axport. Uh, Campus was first published uh, okay, 1584 in the year 1584. A uh, quote too printed by Thomas uh, Dawson for the bookseller Thomas Cadman. Exist that one exists in three different states or uh, impressions with slight differences among them. Okay, the first quote too titles uh, the uh, a play a most excellent comedies of Alexander Campest and uh, Diagnos. In the subsequent impressions, quote, uh, quote 1B and quote 1C, the play's title is uh, shortened to Campest. The running title of all three impressions uh, uh, is uh, a tragical comedy of uh, Alexander and Campest. The second quote edition appeared in the year 1591, uh, printed by Thomas uh, Orwin for uh, bookseller William Broom. The play would also be included in six court comedies, uh, the earliest collected editions of Lily's plays, uh, printed by William Stansby of or Edward Blount. Blount's edition printed the uh, text of uh, play songs, which were uh, omitted from the earlier courts, uh, courtos, including the often reprinted copied and my campus played. Uh, through scholars have you know questioned whether uh, these songs are authentically uh, Lillian in authorship. Now uh, the next one is uh, Sappho and Fo. S A P H O and P H O. Sappho and Fo. Okay, this is also uh, Elizabethan stage play, a yeah, comedy play. Okay, one of his uh, uh, earliest uh, dramas uh, was uh, okay. Uh, this one, you know, of course, uh, the first one which uh, the playwright devoted to allegorical idealization of uh, Queen Elizabeth I, which became uh, the predominating feature of Lily's dramatic canon. Sappho and Fo is known to have been performed at uh, court before Queen Elizabeth, uh, probably uh, in the year 1584. It was also staged at the Blackfire Theatres, of course. Uh, in these respects, uh, it resembles uh, Campus, uh, Lily's other early play, and uh, like uh, Campus sources uh, conflict on the identity of uh, the acting company which performed the work uh, court records credit Oxford Boys, while uh, title page of the play's first edition uh, specify the Children of Pauls, Lily's regular company, and the Children of Chapel. The evidence taken as a whole uh, may have, you know, indicate that both uh, plays, Campes Pan, Sappho and Fo, were uh, acted by a combination of personnel from the troops of uh, boys actors, those of Pauls and uh, Chapel and uh, the young company that uh, the Earl of Axport maintained uh, in the year 1580s. 
uh, Sappho was entered into Stashno register in the year 1584. The play uh, included in six court comedies uh, the initial collection of Lily, Lily's plays published by Edward Blount uh, in the year 1632. The next one is uh, uh, Galatier, G-A-L-L-A-T-H-E, Galatier. Uh, Galatia or Galatia, T E A. Okay. Uh, the first record of the play's uh, performance was at uh, Greenwich Palace, Greenwich Palace on New Year's Day, uh, 1588, where it was performed before Queen Elizabeth I and her uh, court by the children of uh, St. Paul's. A troupe of boys actors at this point of his literary career. Lily had already achieved a success with his prose romance uh, Euphorus and uh, was uh, a writer in residence at uh, Blackfriars Theatre. Okay. The play is set in a village on uh, Lincolnshire shore of River Humber and uh, in the neighboring woods. It features uh, a host of uh, characters including Greek deities, nymphs, fairies and some Shepherds. The next one is uh, Midas. Okay, this is also uh, a, a comedy play. Okay, this one is arguably the most overtly and extensively allegorical of uh, Lily's uh, allegorical plays. Uh, and uh, this one also entered into stationer registers in the year 1591. So it was, you know, first published in the year 1592. In a quote uh, printed by Thomas uh, Scarlett for uh, Joan Broom. Okay, uh, she was the uh, widow of William Broom, uh, the bookseller who issued uh, uh, reprints of Lily's uh, Campasp and uh, Sappho and Fofo in the year 1591. The widow Broom herself uh, published the first editions of uh, Lily's Endymion in the year 1591 and uh, Galatia in the year 1592. Mida was probably acted by children of Paul's, uh, children of Paul's, uh, uh, Lily's regular company through most of his playwriting career. The title page of the first edition states that uh, the play was uh, performed at the court on 12th night, probably on 6th of January 1590. Uh, John Dover Wilson proposed uh, that Lily himself may have played the role of Mida's but this is uh, speculation unsupported by evidence. Now the next one is uh, Mother Bombi, B-O-M-B-I-E, Mother Bombi. Okay, it's, uh, uh, of course, it's unique in uh, Lily's dramatic canon as a work of uh, force and social realism in uh, Mother Bromi alone. Lily departs from his dream world of uh, uh, classical allusion and courtly comedy to create... Uh, a vulgar, realistic play of rustic life in a contemporaneous England. See, Mother Bombay was uh, entered into Stationer Register in the year 1594. Of course, was published later, uh, okay, the year, in a quote printed by Thomas Scarlett for uh, bookseller uh, Kidbert Bobby. Bobby issued uh, a second quote in 1598. 1598. Uh, the printing done by Thomas Creed. Uh, the play was next printed in the year 1632 when it was included in uh, six court comedies, uh, the initial collection of Lily's work, uh, Lily's works published by Edward Blount. Of course, no specific early performances of the play are known. Uh, the title page of the first edition uh, states that uh, Mother Bombi was uh, Sunrise Times, acted by the Children of Pals, uh, Lily's regular company, performances that uh, uh, which must have occurred prior to the company's uh, cessation of activity in the year 1591. Thomas Nash, who praised Mother Bombay in his uh, 1596 pamphlet, uh, Have With You to Saffron Wyden as a popular and merry comedy. Uh, modern critics have uh, compared Mother Bombay with uh, the comedy of error, Shakespeare's a similar classically shaped comedy. Both plays uh, feature comic servants named Dromeo. The play was the subject of a pair of staged readings in recent years. 
well that's it about the you know comedy plays uh, the the collection printed of songs in uh, campus and uh, galatia for the first time lilies uh, two other known plays are uh, laus uh, metamorphosis printed 